Hello there and welcome back. Today, now, I know I'm posting two Dark Side vs. Juggernaut kind of videos, or some, I guess, version. I guess it's more of a version of Colossus than anything. But, we have Unstoppable Colossus, aka Colossus, augmented with Juggernaut's powers, or the Gem of Sidorak. And then we have Dark Side. So, uh, let's just get straight into this. Intelligence. Intelligence, tactics, and funny ability remain the same. Uh, no question. Strength. At this point, it's far beyond dark sides. I mean... Uh... Yeah. Strength, I would say, is... I would say... I'm talking about Klaus is on the edge of Limitless. Dark side, not so much. He's around, like, a... He's a hundred ton plus, if you were to put it in from Marvel's perspective. And... Before, I actually... And I know some of you might be like, Well, why does dark side win these categories? Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, Darkseid is considered a genius of the intellect, I, I, if I'm not mistaken. And he is. Um, and that extends to his tactics, and not to mention he's fought for a long time, considering that he is a new god. In terms of time existence, he's fought a lot of powerful beings. That's pretty much it. Strength. I explained speed. Uh, from what I understand, an unstoppable Colossus isn't as powerful as Kurth Juggernaut. So, as far as speed goes, I probably have to give it to Darkseid. Because Kurth Juggernaut, I believe, is Juggernaut's speed amped up by... I think, I'm not sure if it's 800 fold. I don't remember the number. But nonetheless, I would say Dark Side Speed far eclipses that of uh, Untouchable Colossus. Durability. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Untouchable Colossus had to will himself to lose. He couldn't, like, I should say he couldn't keep on, or I should say he couldn't just be knocked out. He actually had to will himself to be knocked out. Because he knew that if Sidorak kept on possessing Colossus, Sidorak would eventually destroy the entire world. Healing. Uh, if you did not check out the, la the last video, which was a Juggernaut versus Darkseid, I talked about how Juggernaut's healing factor is pretty close to that of Hulk's. It's Hulk, you know, it's Juggernaut's healing factor amped up with Colossus, so there's that. Invulnerability. Force fields. Or the mystical force fields from the Gem of Sidorak. Not to mention, Ensemble Colossus is accessing more power from Sidorak than Juggernaut ever has. At least from what I... Actually, not more than he ever has. That's a mistake, because there's try on Juggernaut. But he's... But, he, but in this case of uh, Ensemble Colossus, he's accessing more of the Gem of Sidorak than Juggernaut normally does. That, I think, is more correct. However, the energy projection the, uh, and the versatility remain the same. X-Factor. In this fight, if Darkseid is trying to conquer Earth, I would have to say they're really, I mean, I mean, yeah, Darkseid could, like, bring him to another dimension, or, or again, just, considering that Darkseid is a powerful telepath, uh, I would have to say he could somehow, if he could, like, just, dis like, disorient Colossus, but I don't think that's possible. At least, at least with this version of Colossus, I don't think it's possible at all. So, but realistically, I'd have to say that uh, Unstoppable Colossus, more likely than not, has a chance of bludgeoning Darkseid to to submission or death. Um, given that when he, f given that he only submitted to, I think it was Red Hulk and Thing, if I'm not mistaken. But before he wanted, before he wanted to submit. And allowed himself to be knocked out. He was pretty much kicking the crap out of everyone. Or, actually, excuse the language. He was beating everyone senseless. He was being Red Hulk senseless and he beat the thing senseless. And then he's like, you have to stop me or else I'm just going to destroy everyone. And, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. But, in the case of Darkseid, if he sees Darkseid as a threat, he's going to, more likely than not, actually submit to Sidorak's uh, possession... And Sidorak's just going to absolutely end up destroying Darkseid because he's going to see Darkseid as potentially a threat to his destruction. Or his 
uh, potential for destruction. So, um, there's that. Um, that is this, uh, and that covers this fight. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Please, if you'd like, subscribe, like, share. Um, and, yeah, I hope you uh, have enjoyed my videos thus far. Uh, I certainly have enjoyed making these. I can. I hope <laughs> that, you know, of course, that you, you know, don't mind them and find that they are rather accurate because in the end, I, as I said in my introduction, I focus on quality over quantity even though I am posting three a weekend, which depending on your perspective might be a bit too much, but I try to make these as accurate as possible. So that's why I go to the wikis, you know, I look at them while I'm also doing the fights. So thank you again and have a great day.